Before I start my video guys, I just want to say that I'm very close to 14,000 subscribers. I'm probably going to hit that milestone within the next week or two. YouTube has been a little bit up and down for the last couple of weeks to me. It has been a bit tough when it comes to getting subscribers. But a lot of you who watch my channel are not subscribed. If I check my analytics, I can see from the last couple of months, I have had 54% of my viewers are subscribed, whereas 45% of my views have come from non-subscribed sources. So if you are someone who isn't subscribed or doesn't have a YouTube, you might want to think about just signing up and hitting that subscribe button. It is 100% free. You're going to be supporting me as a YouTuber. It does help me when it comes to YouTube sort of recognizing my channel being a bigger channel in the algorithm and all that good stuff. But also outside of that, people coming to me wanting me to advertise their products and stuff it does obviously help the more subscribers i have it looks better for my channel as well and i am getting those uh, advertising opportunities more and more often now going forward so any support you want to give me when it comes to hitting a subscribe button will be massively appreciated i have got something pretty decent planned for hitting 15,000 subscribers so hopefully we can get there by before the end of the year i don't think that's too too difficult another thousand subscribers before the end of 2021 uh, it hasn't been the greatest of years when it comes to YouTube growth with uh, everything that's going on, but that's just the way it is. But if you want to hit that subscribe button, like I said, massively appreciated. Thank you to everybody who has already done that, guys. Nearly 14,000 subscribers is crazy. The support from you guys is just I honestly mind-blowing. I, I still can't believe that. I'm still doing this stuff. <laughs> it's still just actually, actually a full-time YouTuber, guys. Actually a full-time YouTuber. But anyway, thank you very much for listening to this little intro and on to the video. Hello, survivors, and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new event that has been announced. It is going to be, I believe, one of the last events as part of the Skybound X of celebrations. And it is called The Last Raid. It was initially kind of teased that we would have the chance to get Andrea 2K in an event, which we have already had, and also Negan 2K, Negan 2000 as a character in an event, if we so wished, and it looks like it's going to be this one right here. Reading through the event intro, it says, what could be worse than an alien invasion paired with the zombie apocalypse? Payback, before we learn the final fate of our future friends, the always vengeful Negan 2000 is ready to strike back with the last raid event times are as follows it starts on the 8th of september at 12 p.m pacific time and it ends a week later on the 15th of september at 12 p.m pacific time reading through the overview it says in the last raid you'll need to fight and fight hard in and outside of raid tournaments to acquire broken lightning lucilles players can redeem the broken lightning lucilles in the gray market for up to two copies of gold mythic negan 2000 broken lightning lucilles will drop in different amounts from raids but will have a double drop rate during raid tournaments there is a solo raid tournament from the start of the event that starts on the 8th of september and there is also a faction raid tournament at the end of the event which ends on the 15th of september in addition it says survivors club members can look forward to daily gifts of broken lightning lucilles and raid refills via the event tab in the shop and lastly it says don't forget to fight through the last raid roadmap to find out what happens in the latest chapter of the skybound x saga now we have got some details on the gray market rewards and it shows that negan 2000 costs 40,000 broken lightning lucilles and there is a maximum amount of two that you can get here but there is also a gold mythic choice box that you can get and it costs 30,000 broken lightning lucilles. You can get this instead of Negan 2000 if you so wish, but you could also get it as well as if you really wanted to go all out and get, I believe, what's that going to be? 140,000 broken lightning lucilles to get both the Negans and both the gold mythic choice boxes. You can do if you so wish. There is also gold mythic tokens available in this as well. And I believe if you get all 40, you should be able to get another two gold mythics. So potentially up to six gold mythics from this event um, there are also some silver choice tokens benedicts and elite item tokens now the characters that are in these gold mythic choice boxes are a choice of harper or razo and i think these are actually pretty decent characters razo got one of the best limit break two upgrades and also harper is a very underrated attack leader in my opinion who i think is going to be quite useful against these leaders with attack down as part of their kit you know like barker as lead skill or just 
control characters on defense teams because she's got a nice little cleanse on her kit. If you want to find out more about Harper, I did do a preview video on her. It's worth checking her out. Now, there's also a Skybound X login event that's going to be running alongside, and it says, alongside the launch of the last raid event will be a Skybound X login event, which will reward military supplies and additional copies of Lori 2000 and Gov 2000 in a choice box for you to decide. And the event times for this, it starts at the same day, the 8th of September at 4 p.m. Pacific time, but it ends two weeks later instead of the one week later on the 23rd of September at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And we can just have a scroll down just to see what we can get for the rewards. You can see that we get military supply packs on every single day, but on day six, we get a Skybound X choice box. And we also get another Skybound X choice box on day 12. So like I say, it's two Skybound characters, choice boxes are gonna be available. And those are gonna be either Laurie 2000 or Governor 2000. And here's confirmation of both of those choice boxes when it comes to the event itself. We have got the Gold Mythic choice box, which is part of the last raid and the Skybound X choice box, which is part of the login event itself. So that's it for the little sneak peek of the last raid event. And it looks pretty decent, quite a lot of characters up for grabs. You can't get too many of the same character. I guess you could potentially get lucky and let's say pull extra Razos with your gold mythic tokens and get two from the crate as well. So the best you can hope for is a grade two, unless you already have characters already. If you are someone who has a Negan 2000 from a lucky pull on like Survivor's Club or did a 10 pull, or if you were one of the lucky few who actually won one of the Negan 2000s in one of the creator giveaways or the official giveaways, well, you're going to be able to grade five, limit break your character if you so wish. And, and you know, that I would say it's, it's generally worthwhile to trying to grade five a character at least and just get them up as high as possible. I myself am very attracted to this. I'm going to have to see what the drops are like. I have got a lot of raid cans. I think a lot of people have got a lot of raid cans on standby. So the raid cans are not going to be the problem. It's going to be about the drop rate. Hopefully, hopefully it's reasonable. By my calculations, we're going to be needing like over 150,000, you know, 170,000 if we want to get all the gold mythic. So it's going to be crazy. Um, I think I'm probably going to prioritize two Negans, then the crate, then the gold mythic tokens, most likely, if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to go proper all out. But uh, yeah, do give me your thoughts on the rewards. Which one are you going to prioritize? Which character do you go, you're going to go for that in that crate? If you uh, were going to pick up that crate, would you pick up Harper or would you pick up Razo? Personally, I'm I'm Harper gang here, just because you can pick up two of the character. She is going to be useful as a grade five. She is a leader. I think most of her power is in her grade five, just upgrades on her skills. She isn't you know a huge damage dealer. She's a support character, which is kind of what I need on an attack team, honestly. So yeah, I'm going to pick her up for sure. From that crate i'm gonna have to just hope to get razo from elsewhere who i think is great but yeah it will have to be elsewhere but do leave your comments down below about the last raid event which i think is most likely going to be the last real big skybound x celebration event except the mythic trial itself that is the end of my video guys i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving